there guys, it's Kim George here from YourSheGeek.com and I want to welcome you to another video tutorial on how to create a PayHip store that you can sell your digital products from. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with what PayHip is, it is essentially a digital storefront that you can use to sell digital downloads and memberships. It's a great resource, especially if you're getting started and you want to be able to sell digital products without trying to have to piece together all this technology and all this good stuff. Now, a couple of things that I wanted to go through before we get into the actual tutorial on how to set up a store is um, a couple of tips, three tips that I would like for you guys to consider as you are creating your store. So tip number one is to essentially brand your store, aka your product cover designs. Okay, you just want to make sure that your designs and the product covers that you're using in your store are consistent so that people can essentially, not essentially, but so people can easily recognize your store from someone else's store and things like that. So that's tip number one. Okay, so tip number two is to brand your store's URL. Okay, so for example, my brand's name is Your Chic Geek. So with my PayHip store, I could do payhip.com backslash your chic geek because it's keeping in it's keeping things consistent with my brand okay and then the last thing that I want to um, to give to you guys as a tip is to you know also work on creating great product descriptions now what I would recommend to get some ideas on how to go about creating great product descriptions is you can go to payhip.com you can go on there check out some of the, the top sellers and things like that take a look at their stores and just kind of look and see how they are putting together their product descriptions because a great product description can make a difference. So those are some of the top tips that I wanted to bring to you guys um, in reference to creating your store. Now we're going to get into the actual video tutorial where I'm going to show you how to set things up and uh, let's go ahead and dive off into that tutorial. Okay, guys. So now we're going to get into how to design and set up a store in PayHip. So I've gone ahead and I've logged into my PayHip account and uh, when you log in, you're going to come here basically and it's going to just give you some information about your store link, which I said that if you want to brand consistently, you want to make sure that your store link is reflective of your brand. So you can see that here. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on over to the products tab. Now this is where you can start to add your products for PayHip. Now, um, I'm going to do edit real quick to kind of show you and give you guys some information on the dimensions and things that you want to use for your product covers so that you can just kind of make sure that everything is consistent. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. And as you can see here, when you scroll down, it says that the recommended minimum image width is 670 pixels. So in order to create a product cover that is this size, what you can do is in Canva, you can go to create a design. Now this is gonna be in Canva Pro because this requires a custom size. I haven't used the free version in a while, so if any of you are out there um, using the free version, if this is something you can do in the free version, please by all means comment below. But as to my knowledge, um, you have to use Canva Pro to do this. But I'm gonna go ahead and click custom size, and then I'm gonna do 670 by 670. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select to create a new design, okay? Now, Canva is going to give you some kind of, I guess you can say templates that you can kind of use as a starting point for creating your product covers. I would just recommend to just keep it simple. And that's what I'm going to do here. So as an example, I'm going to kind of scroll down a little bit just to kind of look to see what kind of designs they have over here. And I'm just going to use one and make it my own. So for example, I'm going to use this one that says Euphoria here, and I'm going to copy or not copy this but I'm going to select this template and put it over into my workspace now here's where the branding part comes in I've mentioned a tool that I use all the time it's called colorpalace.net I would recommend using that tool to create a consistent uh, to get a consistent color scheme that you can apply to all of your brands um, uh, the brand covers for your products so for example if I was selling let's just say some kind of graphics pack um, for uh, let's see Twitter so I would just do Twitter graphics pack okay and you can just kind of put that here and I don't you know I'll leave this little flower I'll just kind of put that here for now and just kind of line this up 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this little, the little section right here that's doing the dots. Actually, it's going to be this section. And I would actually decrease some of the line height just to kind of bring this in just a little bit. But um, I think this is pretty simple and it looks okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this color and I'm going to start using some of the color schemes that I have in my brand kit in Canva to brand these graphics. So for example, maybe I wanted to use this really pretty pink for the first product cover. And then I'm going to copy this page. And then maybe I can use do Facebook graphics kit or something. Okay. And I can use a different color from my color scheme for that. And then I have one for, let's just say Instagram. Okay. So these are three products that I have in my store that um, I'm going to add to uh, my PayHip store to brand these products. So then I'm going to come here and I'm going to change this color to one of the other colors in this color scheme, which I can do something like this. And these colors look really, really pretty. Actually, I like the purple a little bit better. Nope, I actually like the yellow. Okay, so those are three colors from my color scheme and from the pack uh, from my color scheme that I'm going to use to brand these graphics. Now, once you're done with that, all you have to do is go here to download, and I'm going to download these as a PNG. I'm going to download all three files, and then I'm going to upload these into my store, okay, to brand those designs or to brand those products. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and unzip these really quickly. And I'm going to add them to a folder that I've saved on my desktop. Um, you know, and again, this is super easy to do. And like I said, this is one of the reasons why I love using Canva uh, Pro. Okay. All right. So I thought it was going to open. And I'm going to go to downloads here. And my computer is acting janky. So I'm going to extract these files. And I'm going to find this folder that I created. It is called, let's see here, where is it? I don't even know. Should be pay, okay, pay a product covers for pay hip store. Okay, so these product covers should be saved. So now what you do is over in pay hip, guys, is you can see here the first product that I have is a 31 day social media promo calendar. Um, but this is where I'm going to come in and I'm just going to, um, this is where you would upload the product file, but then you would put the, um, the name of the, the title of the product. So I'll just do Twitter graphics kit and maybe it's $14.99. And then here's where you upload the product image. So for this one, I'm going to remove it. Okay. Because I want to use a different image. I'm going to do upload image, and then I'm going to go to my desktop to find the and please don't judge me <laughs> my desktop is full of stuff so here's a twitter graphics kit or graphics pack i'm going to upload this that's what it looks like and then under here is where you would write your product description right so you would come down here you would write your product description then you would do a call to action you know download these graphics now to start branding your twitter account like a pro okay and, and that's pretty much it. And so now I'm going to do save changes. Oh, you have to add a file. That's right. So I'm going to upload a file really quickly here and I'll just find something, but this is where you actually add the product file of whatever it is that you're creating. So I'm just going to do, um, let's see, I'll download, upload this as the file. Okay. And that's it. So I'm done. Save changes. Okay. So that's product number one. So I'm going to do add new product. It's going to be a digital product. And I'm kind of speed this up a little bit so you guys kind of get the idea, though. OK, so we have a Facebook kit. Oh, and I uploaded the wrong thing, <laughs> but that's OK. That's fine. And we'll just do 14, upload our product image, Facebook. That's that. And then you add your product description here. Click add product. Okay, so that's product number two in the store. All right, so now I'm going to go back to products and then I'm going to add a third product. Okay, so we're going to do digital and I'm just going to upload the graphic as the product file just to kind of save time. And this is going to be the Instagram graphics kit. 
This is also going to be $14.99. This is where I'm going to upload the cover for Instagram. Okay. And then this is where you add your product description, add product. Okay. So now I've gone through and I've added all three of these products to this store. Now, whenever you're ready to view your store, okay, what you can do is go to dashboard and then it's going to show you your store's link. So I'm going to go to HTTPS and I'm going to click on this to go and look at my store. So you see how cute that looks? I mean, it's nothing too crazy, nothing special, but it stands out because it's, I love the branding of it, the, the pretty colors. You know, in Canva, you can go back and you can kind of add different icons and things like that to dress up your covers, you know, even more and things like that. Now, another thing that you can do in here that I didn't do is you can go to where it says account and settings. And this is where you can upload a profile image of yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a profile image of myself to kind of personalize my store a little bit more so that when people come to the store, they'll see that it's me. You can add like um, your bio and all that kinds of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and find a picture of myself and it should be in here somewhere. And guys, forgive me. I have so much junk. Again, no judgment zone. Okay, where is my, oh my goodness, let me just go to Canva and download one. I just have too much crap. <laughs> okay, so let me go to Canva to download a picture, one of the pictures that I have in here. Actually, let me go to Uploads, and I'll just do Kim, and then I can just do this picture here. So I'm going to download this original. And then I'm going to add this to upload my products, um, to upload this as a picture of myself. Okay. So this is the picture that I want people to see when they come to the store. As you can see here, this is, you know, my, my name of my name of my company. This is the, uh, the URL of my store page. So payhip.com backslash your chic geek. And then this is where you can add a really nice bio of yourself. So I can just go to my about page. And I can just kind of add a bio here for my about page. Okay. And I'll just kind of put this as my bio. Oh, I forgot I made this where I can't click this. So I'll just do, you know, hey there. I'm Kennedy George, the founder of Action Geek. I help solo entrepreneurs with. DIY visual design and sell oops, and create stand out epic digital products for passive income something like that so that's my bio so then it's saying that you can add a link to your website so I'll do that if you have an IG, which I do, I am at your sheet. Oops, so it's going to be Instagram. 81. And so then you have your YouTube link. So you would just copy and do your YouTube. Okay. And then Facebook, you can do your Facebook. And so on and so forth. So I would do my Facebook. That's that 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 is your she geek again keeping consistent and then my twitter handle is at your she geek 81 okay so now i'm going to click save settings and this should have all of my um information there so now i'm going to go back to my dashboard and let's just take a look at the store again yep look at that <laughs> so it's pretty cool right so this is a picture of myself i'm smiling it has your icons here for your social media handles i have a little bio here and then i have my covers here and so when someone clicks on the twitter graphics kit it should take them to this kit and it should give them some information about what it does and then it should give a call to action over here buy now or add to cart so that they can buy this product from you so guys this is just a quick little overview of how you can go through and dress up your pay hip store to kind of style it a little bit to make it look good you know to kind of create some product cover images using canva just to kind of make your store stand out especially if you don't have a website 
and you're kind of, you know, you're kind of in the process where you're on a budget and you want a store that looks really attractive, but you really don't want to spend the money at this time to create a store to, you know, get a website or Shopify or anything like that. I think that PayHip is a great alternative for that. And um, it's a great resource for even if you have an online store for selling your products, because a lot of the product delivery, fulfillment and all that kinds of stuff can be done through PayHip instead of trying to, you know, tinker around with all this technical stuff and all that kinds of stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys how to set up your store with PayHip. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe and um, enjoy and please share this video with anyone that you know that is interested in selling digital products and wants to learn how to dress up their store or set up a store using PayHip. I'll check you, I'll see you guys around and I'll be publishing some more videos here pretty soon guys. Take care, stay safe out there.